Hello and welcome to the second video demo for the new maestro.com web application. Um, last time I left off I had showed you uh, the basic layout of the site and some of the features that I would be working on and uh, I guess the first video was about a month ago and since then I've continued to work on the site in my spare time and I wanted to show you guys uh, what I had gotten done. So let me go ahead and load the site. And you'll see there that it has this nice little fade in effect. Uh, basically, it loads the top bar, the blue maestro bar, and then as everything loads in the background, the site kind of fades into the front. All right, so here you can see that I have uh, the same news page that I had last time. Uh, we've got a post here and a comment. Uh, commenting is uh, brand new since the last video, and you see that they just show up um, as blue bars. Um, here inside the entry. Um, a couple quick things that I've done since last time. Um, basically every every visual element, everything that you'll actually see on the page, uh, in pajamas terms they're called widgets. Um, every widget that's used in the application has been completely rewritten. Um, when I started the site um, I was making use of the pajamas framework but I wasn't actually writing widgets. Um, that is, my own UI elements that are based on the Pajamas framework. So everything that I use is now based on a Pajamas widget type, so I've written my own widgets. And that just makes the whole system work a lot better, much, uh, much easier to integrate it together. Um, so everything's based on a widget. Um, one of the uh, best uses of that is in the new pop-up system. So I'll go ahead and open a pop-up here. Here's the login pop-up. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same uh, as it did last time, although now uh, the pop-ups are actually based on the uh, Pajamas pop-up panel widget type, um, which is a lot better. Uh, pajamas takes care of graying out the page for me. Um, it makes sure that I can't click on anything else, and it makes sure that that gray, that glass panel in the background stays on top and covers the entire page uh, regardless of scrolling or resizing or anything like that. So it takes care of all the implementation details for me. Uh, also new to the pop-up system is this uh, close button here. Uh, you see it's kind of like a light blue color and then when you hover the mouse over it, it you know, turns white. And so those are added to every pop-up by default. Uh, you can turn it off, but this just makes it a lot easier to uh, close pop-ups without having to, uh, to add a button uh, like the cancel button here to make it work. Uh, one other big improvement to the pop-up system is the ability to drag the pop-ups around. So you see that I can uh, you know, drag this anywhere I want. Pretty sweet. And then like I said, I can close it. So that works really well. Um, I also made a, another type of pop-up class, a YouTube pop-up class, where basically you specify the width and, uh, width and height and the, uh, the ID string of the video you want to display and it will open up a pop-up um, to play that video. So I've got a little demo of that here. Uh, you see here at the bottom right it says YouTube demo. So I click on that and it opens a pop-up and it loads the, uh, the first demo uh, video that I made for this site. Now I'm not going to bother playing it because the uh, screen capture software that I'm using I think only captures a few frames a second. Um, so the video would look very choppy, but it works very well and plays back nicely and still retains, you know, all of the features of the other stuff. So you're able to move it around and close it and all that jazz. And then, you know, full screen still works. All the normal YouTube controls still work just fine. So that's very cool. All right, let's go ahead and log in. Um, one other thing I've added to the pop-up system is um, it now captures keyboard input. So when I press enter, it will log in. I don't have to actually move the mouse to click the log in button. All right, as you can see, it reloads the page, everything fades back in, and now I'm logged in. All right, and here is the, uh, the main form for creating posts. So it says, what's on your mind? You know, highly borrowed or stolen from Facebook. Not sure if that's what I'm gonna keep in there, but that's what it says for now. So you click in that and it expands the box and gives you a button to share. So I can type in 
here is an example post. All right, and then we click share. And it collapses the form, and then it loads in the post. And as you can see, it says just now underneath here. And then in a moment, it'll say less than a minute, and then it will continue updating. Also, uh, you can see that I've added this remove option here. When you hover your mouse over a post and you have permission, meaning you are an admin or you are the author of the post itself, um, you'll have this remove option. And when you hover the mouse over the remove text, it actually shows you the button. So you can click that and it will get rid of the post. All right, now let's show off the commenting. Here is another example post. All right, so there's the post. And now we click on comment. It says when you hover over, it says click here to leave a comment. It adds this form here. Here is an example comment. And there you go, it appears. And then you can click comment again if you want to add another one. And you can delete the comments you don't want. So that all works very, very well. All right, one other thing I wanted to show you. And for this, I'm going to need the help of another browser so I will resize this and I've got uh, Firefox open as well we've got Chrome on the left and Firefox on the right so you can see Chrome is logged in uh, Firefox is not alright so we will make this a little bit larger Here is an example post. You click on share, and you see that over here in Firefox, the post appears. Here is an example post just now. Uh, let's make a comment on this. Here is a comment sent from Chrome to Firefox and comment. And as you can see, it appears just fine. All right. Um, the application is also set up to only allow uh, one session per user at a time. So if I go here to log in with Firefox. As you can see, that works just fine. And now let's say I go back to Chrome and I try to delete a comment. It detects that I'm no longer logged in because I am logged in in Firefox. So it has killed my Chrome session. And I can either choose to you know, go ahead and log back in, or if I just click close, it's going to reload the application um, so that everything that is displayed is for you know, a guest. You're in guest mode. And let's make another comment. And here is a comment oops, sent from Firefox back to Chrome. So that's very, very cool, works very well. And now that we're done, let's we'll scroll over in Firefox and remove the example post. And you see it's gone now in both browsers. So, All right, so that's uh, where we're at with the application. Uh, the next thing on the to-do list uh, in terms of big new features is uh, registration. And I will probably um, publish it once I've got registration working. And then I'll be doing um, allowing people to attach things to posts like images and YouTube videos and things like that. So that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.
Bye.